Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Snowman. I wanted to make a little video for you here to show you how I record videos for the channel Snowman Gaming. Uh, whether it's gameplay footage, whether it's Let's Plays, or whether it's live streaming on Twitch, uh, this program is the main way that I do that. This program is called Open Broadcast Software, or OBS for short. And we're going to look at it today and kind of show you how you yourself, maybe you're an aspiring YouTuber, maybe uh, you want to record yourself, or maybe you just want to see how I do it. You're going to get a sneak peek into the inner workings of how uh, you can do a YouTube channel yourself today. Uh, before we dive in and kind of look at Open Broadcast Software and the different ways that you can use it and all the different tools at your disposal, first I want to show you how to get it. Obviously, if you just Google search OBS or Open Broadcast Software, it will be the first result, and you can just click on that download page right there. Click I agree, whatever, and then click download, and it'll just download it right there to your computer. And it, uh, So then you install it, you put it on your computer yourself, and then you can open it and it'll look just like this, this program here on the top right side. First thing you're probably going to want to do when you open it, you may be very confused, there's a lot of different things to check and, and change. You're going to want to open up your settings. Go to settings here, and we're going to look at this together. Uh, first thing, go to your broadcast settings. If you're thinking of live streaming, uh, you can choose your streaming service, so Twitch, Hitbox, what have you. Uh, set the mode to live stream. You can also just do file output on your computer. So say you just want to record gameplay footage for a video that you're going to do a review on or a let's play for your channel. You can do file output only if you want. But if you want to live stream, you're going to change that to live stream right there, okay? Uh, go to your video settings. No, don't change that. Go to video settings. You're going to want to change your resolutions. Uh, to whatever best fits uh, whatever your computer can handle. You can change your FPS. YouTube does 60 FPS now, so uh, if you want to do 60 frames per second, you could do that. You're also going to want to change your audio settings. Make sure if you're using a microphone, you have that plugged in. I'm using my Blue Yeti here, so I'll set that. Uh, I'm going to put a couple links in the description. First is just the download link for OBS, and second is a really helpful Twitch guide on how to set up your settings on OBS. It's, it was very helpful for me uh, to kind of get it right for whatever your computer can handle, what works best for you. So let's look at the different options here. Uh, there is a recording button and a streaming button. So this is kind of the difference between the file output and the live streaming. If you just want to record something for your computer and that's it, you're going to hit this record button. That's what I've pressed right now to record this video that you're watching. So this button right here, if I hit stop recording, like it says, it'll stop the recording and we'll end it here. Uh, if I wanted to stream, I'm going to hit this top button that is the streaming button here. Uh, I have it set up for me that when I hit start streaming, it also records a file output for my computer of the same thing so that I have my own copy of the stream. So if I want gameplay or to make a highlight reel of it, I can do that. So that's kind of a neat thing to do. These are your audio levels here. So this is the microphone. I have it turned up all the way. Generally, that's just what I'll do. You can hear as I turn it down and make it quieter. My voice is getting quieter. And then if I bring it back up, it gets louder. Uh, I try to have it up all the way. It's important to be heard. And then this is your computer volume uh, or the game volume, what have you, whatever you're going to use it for. So uh, I have I generally keep it around 30%. It depends on the game that you're playing. Some are quieter, some are louder. You can hear as I turn it up, it gets significantly louder, the computer uh, volume. So I try to keep it pretty low, around 30%. But again, it depends on what you're doing. And so uh, you're going to have to do audio tests and checks and levels for yourself. Now, uh, when you open up brand new OBS, uh, you're going to want to add a scene. So this is a new scene that I started here, scene one. And I've added a couple elements to my screen here. One is just my webcam. That's me. That's this right here. Uh, you can see the red box around that. I've hit the edit scene button so I can edit it so you can make things bigger, smaller. Uh, you can actually... If you hold shift, you can kind of stretch things. So if you want to stretch things in whatever direction, you can do that. It's weird watching that. But then if you let go of shift and then resize, it'll go back to the regular dimensions. If you press alt, or sorry, if you hold alt, you can uh, kind of crop a video. So say I want to crop just my head for some reason, I can do that by holding alt. Uh, and then you can set it back if you just stretch it out. Uh, so you can kind of set things the way you want them. But first thing you're going to want to do is make a new scene just by right-clicking here and say add scene and just call it scene whatever. Uh, I spelled that wrong, but scene whatever. Now the screen went black. Don't panic. That's just because it is a brand new scene that has nothing in it. So it's this scene right here that I called it. I spelled it wrong. Scene whatever. Uh, that's just a blank black scene. But if I added elements to it, it will uh, add those in. So I'm going to go back to it real quick and I'm going to click add uh, my webcam. And there you go, I've just added that back in. 
Um, let's go back here because then you can see what I'm talking about. So if I right click in this section, this is your sources section, you can add all kinds of stuff. You can add window capture. That's the main way that I capture gameplay footage. I play games in windowed mode on my computer and you can do the window capture. Uh, and that's a really good way to do that. Um, you can also just capture the monitor. That's what I'm doing right now. This is just the desktop monitor capture. You can add images. You can add pictures, uh, a logo you made, whatever you want. You can add those images and resize those accordingly. Uh, you can add text. So if you want to have uh, text on there, some message to your viewers. Game capture is different from window capture. That's normally used when you're playing a game in full screen mode on your computer. You can do game capture for that if it's in full screen mode. Normally you kind of want to have two monitors set up if you're going to do that, if you're going to play a game in full screen mode so that you can like hit record on the second monitor and still have the game up on the first monitor. Uh, it just looks cleaner that way so you're not like clicking it and then quickly clicking on your game and seeing weird stuff. Anyway, that's uh, open broadcast software in a nutshell. There's a lot more to it, but uh, that's the gist of it. You're going to want to just set up your different scene the way you want it. You're going to resize things, you're going to move them around, put them wherever you want on your computer, etc. Audio wise, I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone. This is uh, my microphone here, you can see it. I have a uh, pop filter on the front of it. This is the microphone itself here. Um, the pop filter is pretty cheap. I got it online on Amazon, or I'm sorry, you can get it on Amazon for roughly five to $10, it's pretty cheap. I got mine at Best Buy, but I had a gift card. That's the only reason I did that. The microphone itself is a little more expensive. Uh, Blue Yetis normally run at roughly around $120. You can find them uh, used, you can find them used on Amazon for roughly 80. Sometimes they go on sale for cheaper as well. Uh, but it's a really, really good quality microphone. If that's too much money for you to spend, I used this microphone for the first year of my YouTube channel. This is a Samson Go mic, uh, and it is, I believe, $40. It's smaller. I just clipped it on the top of my laptop there, but it's really good quality to get started. Uh, it's, it's perfect. So if you don't want to spend a whole ton of money, uh, this microphone is obviously better, but uh, that's a really good place to start. I did that for a long while. I'm going to put this guy back here. I don't know why put him in the corner. Anyway, uh, that's audio. Now, that's this is just when I used to do Let's Plays and stuff. This was a perfect way to do that. I just hit record and stop it and everything. I still use it for live streaming, but my editing software that I use for my bigger budget videos, like my top tens, uh, the good game design series, etc. I use this program down here. It's called Corel Video Studio. Now, most YouTubers that you know uh, are going to be using Adobe Premiere, and Premiere is a significantly better program than this, but Corel Video Studio is what I know when I've used it for years and years, so I'm used to it. Uh, it's also a one-time purchase as opposed to Adobe, which is a monthly subscription service. Uh, I believe it's $80, but you probably can buy a cheaper version of it, like this is the pro version. Uh, but it's just a one-time purchase, and I I've had this for years and years, so I know how to use it really well. It's your basic uh, editing software, you know, here's your main uh, video track, so that's this is like my snowman intro that I put on things. Uh, if I wanted to put a snowy background in the background there, great. There's also an overlay track, so say I wanted to drop in an arrow there, I could. Now it's overlaid on top of the background. This is your overlay track right here. There's also a title track, so if I want to put a title that says snowman or whatever, I could do that. And just say snowman, great. Uh, there's also a voiceover and audio track, so say I wanted to just make a little audio thing here and then put music behind it that I can do that if I want to so this is it's a very basic program but I like it a lot because it's very easy to use very simple uh, straightforward you don't need to know very much to learn it very easily so that's Corel Video Studio that's the program that I use uh, to make my bigger budget videos but OBS is the way that I capture gameplay footage to put into that program and then talk about if I'm you know reviewing a game or doing whatever uh, but OBS is a great program to record um, for, for streaming, I use it all the time for streaming on Twitch. It's, it's a great program for that. Um, but that's generally what I do uh, when I did Let's Plays. This was my go-to program. I'd, I'd open up a game, put the window capture of the game in OBS, and there you go, and, and uh, record it, and I had it, and put it on YouTube. So it's very easy. It's free. I don't know if I mentioned that it's free. I'm sorry if I didn't. I'll put that like first thing in the description. It's a free program, which that's the main reason I use it. It's perfect for that, totally free. Uh, so go get OBS and use it yourself. Again, maybe this is for you. If you want to start doing YouTube, this is a great way to do that, a great place to start. 
Uh, and it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm Snowman. Uh, I hope you're excited for Donkey Kong Month next week. Uh, this is I, I've been playing Donkey Kong music in the background here to get yourself hyped. Uh, get ready for that coming at you with the month of April. We'll be doing a lots of Donkey Kong stuff. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Until then, go make your own YouTube video and enjoy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.